So we're going to integrate this here. And so the integral, you know, minus gr, I can factor that, but the minus gr, uh, the integral of sine is negative cosine. So really that becomes a positive here. I'm going to have cos theta from 0 to theta uh, is equal to 1 half v squared evaluated from 2 meters per second to v. All right, right here. And then, you know, I just work out the math here. So this would be gr cos theta minus 1. Bam, right? And then here this would be 1 half v squared minus uh, 4 meters squared per second squared right here like that. And so there's my integral, and I, I just I could substitute for g. This is 9.81 meters per second squared, and for r, which is 0.5 meters, right there. And I and then I just work out the algebra here, and I would get that v squared is equal to 9.81 meters per second squared times the cosine of theta uh, minus 5.81 meters per second squared, meter squared per second squared. Oops. Okay. Ooh, messing messing up my units. E. Okay. Right here, and then just and, and really the 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 final answer would be that the final answer would be that the velocity as a function of theta is equal to the square root of nine point eight one meters squared over second squared times cosine of theta uh, minus five point eight one meters squared per second squared here. And you can see the units of this is going to come out to meters per second, so that's good, right? All right, so that's pretty interesting. That's exciting to know, okay? So here, now let's go back, and now we can go back and use this last part to get nb as a function of theta because we just solve for v squared, right? And so that's that really makes it a lot easier now that we have a v squared already. So this problem is like two equations, two unknowns. And... And here, when I, I'm going to use the normal, so the last part here, part three, or part four, I don't know, what did I, what did I have it before, part four, yeah, part four, use the n component, n component to solve for the normal force of, on the block as a function of theta. And so here, we had, uh, uh, I'm going to substitute for that mg, or for the weight again, so we had the mg cos theta mg cos theta plus nb is equal to m v squared over rho yeah and rho in this case is the radius of curvature is still 0.5 meters okay and here in this case i'm going to solve for nb and i already have an answer for v squared this is you know this right here this is my v squared that i'm just going to bam plug it into there so nb is really, I could just solve for nb right now, nb is equal to mg cos, ooh, whoa, 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 is m v squared, m, nine, m over rho, 9.81 meters squared per second squared times cos theta minus 5.81 meters squared per second squared uh, minus mg, cosine of theta right there and let's see here did I do some maybe predetermined work already I did so here if I if I go ahead and I substitute for these things I have let's see two kilograms divided by 0.5 meters uh, times you know that looks like a gravity term right there right and the meters cancel out so that's that's the kind of convenient okay 9.81 meters squared per second squared times cos theta minus 5.81 meters squared per second squared minus mg, which is 2 kilograms times 9.81 meters per second squared cos theta. And you can already see that the meter here will cancel out. All these terms, when I multiply by 2 divided by 0 0.5, which, is, uh, which will come out to 4 kilograms, it's just going to give me units of newtons. And so when I work all this out, all this business out right here, this n sub b uh, within the proper newtons units is 58.86 newtons times the cosine of theta minus 23.24 newtons. And this would be here, bam, n sub b. 
And if you don't believe me, just work out the math, okay? You'll, you'll get it there. And then you can look. You can do some other fancy schmancy stuff with this thing, right? You can look at, um, you can look at uh, when the, the, uh, the normal force on this board is going to be a maximum, right? And so you could look at this and I could say, oh, okay, the normal force will be max. Normal force, force, max. Hmm, when would it be max? So we have to identify a critical point. Remember that thing called critical point calculus, which is dNB over d theta, right? Or what angle, what theta would it be max? So here you just, you know, take the take a derivative of this set equal to zero and solve for theta. And in this case right here, if I did that, I would get 58.86 newtons uh, times the sine of theta, and I believe that's a negative, right? Yeah, derivative of cosine is negative sine, is equal to zero, which tells me that, you know, the normal force is max when theta equals zero, okay? At theta equals zero, NB is max, okay, All right? So that's kind of cool. Right? And then you can also solve for when nb equals zero if you just set nb equal to zero and you can solve for theta. Anyways, the, the power of this would be when you could plot this. So maybe, who knows, maybe I'll do another video. Should I do another video? Maybe if, if I get comments, I can do another video using like MathCAD or Excel or something and show you the, what the plot looks like. All right. Well, hopefully you enjoyed it. And, uh, um, and, and uh, you know, look out for some more. All right. Talk to you later. Bye.